Hi, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another Jaspies Hit Parade collaboration. This time we did uh, we did some multi-sport here, a little multi-sport madness here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a dual case break, 20 total boxes. One spot gets you three teams. You get a team in football, a team in baseball, a team in basketball. We comboed up some of the football teams, so it's a total of a 30-spot break. All right, this is the sell sheet. This is an example of what you could possibly get. Um, we can run this break back a few more times, so uh, get into it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com on the next one. But for this one, break two, big thanks to this group for making it happen. We only ended up doing one filler. That Series 1 hanger box break. Congrats to the winners. Thanks to the people who got their spots straight up. There's the t combo team for, for football, and then just no combos for baseball and basketball. One dice roll for all four lists. I'm going to randomize it five and a two, seven times. Names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. A Joseph down at Carl. Do I not want to see an Orlando baseball team if there's expansion? So there's football, baseball, basketball. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen with the Rays. But once that stadium situation gets settled, then I think they're, then I think baseball is going to look at expansion. I don't know. Does Florida need three baseball teams? Five and a two, seven times for the teams, uh, football, baseball, basketball. Here's football first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Got Miami down to the Browns. All right, there's the first half of the list right there. Just want to get it on the recording in the second half right there. And again, if you're trading, um, you got to trade within the sport. So football for fo football trade for football trade. We'll, we'll go back to these lists in just a second here. Five and a two, seven times for the baseball teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got the Yankees down to the fish, the Marlins. Pop that in the baseball section here. All right, there's the first half of the list right there. And the second half of the list right over here. Now, let's do basketball. Five and a two, seven times for the NBA teams. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seventh and final time. We got the Jazz down to my Lakers after seven. All right, so there are the teams right there. There's the first half of the list. And there's the second half of the list right there. All right, we're going to pause the video and allow for some uh, for a trade window and an opportunity to see your names and teams again if you're watching live and then uh, and then we'll go actually let's alphabetize everything too all right so there was the football list right here now we'll alphabetize by team there is major league baseball let's alphabetize by team And there's the NBA right here. It's alpha by team. All right, so there you go. Football, baseball, basketball. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done. So all the lists remain the same. Here's the football list. So we'll put that right there. The baseball list.
and the basketball list here on Sunday the 25th. It's the 25th already? Come on. Where, is, where has this month gone? It's almost July. Remember when we talk about 4th of July stuff? There it is. There's the Multisport Madness Edition right here. Jaspi exclusive. Curated by us. Powered by Hit Parade. Just for you. Random injuries. Anyone doing anything exciting for uh, for Fourth uh, of July? I'll actually be taking a little bit of time after Fourth of July. Jaspies is off on Fourth of July, by the way. So enjoy time with your friends and family and your barbecues. But um, I've got a cousin coming into town that I haven't seen in a while. I'm gonna be in Vegas. I think he's on, he's on a work trip or something like that. But going there and uh, I think I'm going to Summer League. So I can give you scouting reports on Wen Benyama, Scoop, Brandon Miller, etc. Speaking of basketball, there's Kevin McHale. One out of five from Spectra Basketball. My basketball list is to my left. That's gonna be for Jason Waters. And Jason, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Ah, that's right. The uh, Nathan's Hot Dog Contest is on the horizon as well. Uh, who who are the uh, leaders in the competitive eating scene? Has anyone ever thought of competitive eating? Thought of doing it? All right, I think we got more basketball. That is PSA 10, Tim Duncan. Timmy! Nice, from 1997, Topps Chrome Basketball. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Spurs. That'll be for Adam. There you go, Adam. It's pretty nice. All right, next one. Well, there, I, there has to have been competitive eating cards. I think maybe in like, like Allen and Ginter, there has been some competitive eaters, competitive eater cards. All right, we got basketball. Tyrese Maxey, rookie, jersey, and autograph to 199. Sixers. That would be for Joe and the 76ers. I want to say there has been, I, I don't think we've ever pulled one, but I think there has been like Joey Chestnut autographs. Or who's that like, that small Japanese dude who can also pack away a bunch of hot dogs? I don't know how that, how either person does it, but. A dollar dog night for the Royals. You try to consume one dog every inning and you only made it to six. So imagine trying to do that fast and do like 10 times out of my, I don't know how many they eat. Do they eat like 50, 30? There's Spencer Strider, rookie autograph. Strider, the ranger from the north. <laughs> for those of you who are into that sort of thing. That goes to... Jason Waters and the Braves. Kobayashi, that's right. Or is Kobayashi the, spoiler alert, is Kobayashi the, well, maybe not a spoiler, the, the lawyer in uh, Usual Suspects? Adam worked with a girl who was a competitive eater before she moved to the U.S. She was top 10, ranked in Canada. What, what did she competitively eat? Because I guess everyone has their own thing. Like some people are burgers and some people are like, you know, cookies, and some people are hot dogs, and there's, a, <laughs> there's like pies. There's like specialties. We got rookies and stars. Rookie Auto, DK Metcalf. That's pretty nice. 38 out of 60. 
That is for the Seahawks. That's for Tana. Ah, she did the Nathan's contest a few times, but didn't finish by the top. She was tall and skinny. Yeah, believe it or not, competitive eaters are oftentimes small. How do you even train for it? I believe there are YouTube videos of Joey Cheston, I think, who tells you how he trains for these sorts of things. Yeah, I mean, eat a lot. And then there's like speed eating techniques. And you got to like, your stomach has to get stretched out. There's Lars Nootbar, five out of 10. Silver ink auto on the eye black and a piece of the jersey, the button. Uh, Cardinals, that'll be for, for Corey and the cards. I want to say that, <laughs> if I remember, someone can correct me if, if I'm wrong, but I think they do jaw exercises too, like work on like, like jaw muscles as well. We got Christian McCaffrey, jersey and autograph from 2020 Select Football. 30 out of 35. Carolina, Jason Waters. The champ of Nathan said he just uses water to wet the dogs. Right. That's what I hear as well. There's also like, then there's just technique. Not only do you have to have your stomach stretched out and prepared, you know, you have to prepare your jaw. And then there's like the, the during the contest technique. It's wild. Sensational signatures, Michael Vick from Prism Football. 21 out of 99, that's from 2022 Prism Football. And that is a Falcons edition going to Craig and the ATL, the Dirty Birds. If he's finished, says, if I was a competitive eater, you'd be looking for a TP sponsor. That'd be pretty good. I mean, I'd, I'd get like a, yeah, I'd get like a giant Charmin hat or something like that. Do they get sponsored? Are they wearing like sponsors on their shirts and stuff like that? If not, I feel like it's a missed opportunity. All right. Speaking of Allen and uh, yeah, speaking of Allen and Ginter, that's Chrome Allen and Ginter. It's Vlad Guerrero Jr. Nice. That's from uh, 2022. Al Chrome Allen and Ginter. Toronto. Adam Kupperman and the Blue Jays. There you go, Adam. They gotta be sponsored, right? What's the prize money for competitive eating? Like what are the Nathan's hot dog challenge or whatever? Like what, how much do you get paid for winning or placing or show? Win, place, or show? How much do you win? Got basketball. It is Cameron Thomas, Cameron Johnson, Cameron Thomas. Is actually Cameron Johnson's teammate right now, but this is Suns edition. Nine out of 25, dual relic and auto. Phoenix, by the time I get to Phoenix, that goes to James. She'll be rising. She'll leave a note right on the door. But wait, there's more. It's a dual case break, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're like, dang, I didn't hit. Don't worry, we got another case coming up. It's a 20 box break. Uh, next dual case break in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com if you want to check it out. I mean, maybe, maybe we, should, should Jaspies be sponsoring a competitive eater? If there are sponsorship opportunities. I don't think we have Joey Chestnut money. <laughs> but if we could sponsor 
we need to find like the Wrexham. Everyone know that it, Ryan Reynolds and and Rob McElhenney owned that soccer team, that Welsh soccer team, right? Who who went up a division? They probably doubled their investment already. But we need to find like the Wrexham of competitive eating. Here's Trey Turner, Dodgers edition, twenty out of twenty. I think that's from Transcendent, right? Nice. That's uh, for the Dodgers. That's going to be Matthew K. With the Dodgers, who are down a few runs in the bottom of the sixth of the Astros. Sunday Night Baseball. One of the, one of the cards I hit Friday in this multi-sport was a Big Hurt Eloy Dual Auto from Definitive. There's some nice stuff in here, boys and girls. Get in on it. Next dual case break in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, we got some hoops. We got some Zach Levine. 14 out of 15. Breakout signatures. It's 2016 17, Zach Levine. Is that rookie Zach Levine? Uh, that goes to the Timberwolves. That'll be for uh, Scott Q and the Timberwolves. Zach Levine was, no, he was drafted in 2014. There is a league called Major League Eating. Maybe we need to find, maybe we can get that sponsorship money there. You think there's a crossover between people who are into collecting sports cards and competitive eating? Is there a crossover there, you think? Would that be good use of our marketing, marketing money? All right, we got a book here. It's rookie playbook. Jersey autographs, George Pickens, nice. Let's, see if we, let's pop this guy open here. 161 out of 299, Jersey and autograph, not bad. That's gonna go to James and the Steelers. I like this this multi-sport product is really nice. We've got another dual case breaker in the store. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Check it out. Got some full spots available. You can try to win your way in with a couple fillers. Ooh, there's Freddie Freeman chugging in for a, a one-out double. There you go. Trying to get a little rally going. Scott, you would like to see Michael Jaspi eat a bunch of hot dogs? There's the rookies, Debo Samuel, rookie auto, nice. 255 out of 299. It's pretty good. Niners, Nestor and the Niners. That might be that might have to be if we have like a I think we haven't activated this yet, but I think there's a way to have like paid subscriptions to our channel, to the YouTube channel at least. That's the kind of content we'd put on there. <laughs> we got a graded card here. Graded baseball. PSA 10. It is Brett Beatty from 2019 Bowman Draft. For the Metropolitans, that's gonna be that's gonna be for Julio and the Mets. Alright. Michael Rudd would, I will not eat the hot dogs. My, that Michael won't. We don't have a kitchen here. If, if we had a proper kitchen here, then maybe we would do that. I'd, we might have to do that content offsite. Maybe we can get a local hot dog restaurant to, uh, to sponsor this. All right, we got more baseball. It is Will the Thrill, Will Clark from an archive set. Is that numbered? No. This is archive fan favorites, I think. Uh, that will be for, for Adam Coverman and the Giants. 
with the spot that he won in the filler, Will the Thrill. Ooh, cold hot dogs? I don't know if I could do that. Are they pre, I guess they are pre-cooked. You think you think it'd be e easier to eat them cold or hot? Like what 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 do you think will be faster? All right, another one. It, back to basketball. It's Shaden Sharp, jersey and autograph. What uh what are the Trailblazers gonna do with Damian Lillard? There seems to be all sorts of rumors about about him being traded. Andrew with the Trailblazers. All right, next one. Back to the NFL, we have Kadarius Tony, Two color patch and autograph, RPA from plates and patches. That's 16 out of 25. That's for the New York Football Giants. That's gonna go to Adam Kupperman. John flashing back to the 1989 NLCS. At bats with Will Clark and Mark Grace were amazing. Now, Will the Thrill, very, very thrilling. Graded card, I think so too. Might be, might be a good, maybe a wide receiver three for your fantasy teams. I, I'll pick up Kadarius Tony. All right, another graded card. It's baseball. It's Ellie De La Cruz. From 2022 Bowman, Atomic Refractor, PSA 10. Woo! What a time to get this. Man, this guy has been, he, he hit for the cycle the other day. This guy's amazing. Let's see, ESPN saying for their 12th straight win, this was not... Today, I think they lost today. It was yesterday, maybe? But yeah, Ellie De La Cruz became the youngest major leaguer to hit for the cycle in 51 years as Cincinnati extended its win streak. This was uh, the 23rd, a couple days ago. To 12 games with an 11-10 victory over the Braves on Friday night. They lost yesterday. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, 21 doubled to open the inning, had a two-run homer in the third, hit a run-scoring single to center in the fifth, and tripled in the sixth for his fourth RBI of the night. He became the youngest player to hit for the cycle since Houston Cesar Cedeno in 1972, according to ESPN Stats and Information. De La Cruz is also the third player since 1901 to hit for the cycle within his first 15 career games. It's amazing. But I think he went 0 for 5 today, so... Uh, garbage. <laughs> yeah, Ellie De La Cruz went 0 for 5 today. So, uh, with three strikeouts, so... Terrible. This goes to Sonny. Sonny and the Reds with the spot that he won in the filler. Congrats, Sonny. That's a, that's a very nice one. John has 100 LAs at PSA right now. Those values keep going up as they're sitting there. All right. 20th and final hit. Fingers crossed. Good luck, everybody. It's going to be basketball. It's going to be Jaden Ivey, rookie auto from Prism Hoops. Nice. NBA. That Detroit is going to be Adam Kupperman. There you go, Adam. Nice break for you, Adam. Nice break in general, everybody. That's a Jaspi exclusive. Multi-sport madness. There has been some nice madness here. What's the... Uh, Break down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven basketball. One, two, three, four, five, six football. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven baseball. Looks like pretty uh, pretty even amongst the uh, amongst the sports. I don't know. That's going to be for every case. 
But there you go. No graded cards for NFL, one graded card for basketball, two graded cards for baseball. So one, two, three graded cards. So a few graded cards in between the two cases. So those are, those are the stats breakdowns. Next one in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, is there a wax? There is a wax party invite here. So let's go back to the list here. Let's gather everybody's names one through 30. We'll just use the, the football list. One through 30, new dice, new list. Name on top gets a wax party invite after six. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Fingers crossed, everybody. Now, sad times for spot two. Sorry, Scott Q, very close. No cigar this time, but we'll get him next time. After six, two and a four. Name on top is Scott, the, uh, the other Scott. Scott E. Sorry, Scott Q, but Scott E. Scotty, you're in the wax party. Thanks for watching. I don't know if I called your, called your number, Scott E. Scoot in the chat. Yeah, I don't think, but hey, you didn't get anything in the break but you got the wax party invite. So you might get something really nice there. You are guaranteed something already. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.